gaming and I know it's recently that a lot of people have been having trouble with the Star Wars Clone Wars Adventures emulator, how to install it. So this video will be a quick, just to show you a tutorial on how to install it, how to get it done, how to get it on your PC and how to use it. And just remember this is a semi emulator. A lot of you have been speaking about it and it's, like I said, it's not a, it's not Star Wars Galaxy's emulator, okay? This isn't a big thing. This is like one person, a couple of people doing some work on it. I'm not a part of it. I'm just someone showing you guys what they're doing. And yes, yeah, so I don't expect this to be online with all the features I had before. This is in no way means the exact same thing as it was before. It's not like Galaxy's emulator. This is a lot different. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys how to install it, how to get it. Um, there hasn't been an update since May 28th, I believe, unfortunately. And yeah, that's just how it is. And whenever there's an update, I will be showing you guys a video on what's been updated and all that. I did hear that the person creating it hasn't had access to his computer in a while. So understand i understand that he's the only person well not only person but he is doing this out of his own free time so you know give it some time and we'll eventually get there anyway so all you got to do to get the game is go on this website it's uh cwamublogspot.com.au anyways um i'm gonna keep this in the link so you can just go on it and link in the description and you come here as you can see this is the latest update what you're gonna want to do is scroll down once it starts being a little bitch All right, so here's what you're going to do. So you got the Mac version if you have a Mac, the Windows version for high quality. So if you have a computer that has video card, uh, high graphic card and can run games, you could probably use this one. You have this Windows version, which is for uh, not necessarily a low computer or anything like that. But if your computer can't run games properly, I'd recommend going for this one, which is the multi texture, which is faster for Windows itself. It's not that high quality. It's not as good as the other one, but it runs faster. I'm currently using GSL since my computer can run games. And then we've got the Linux version, which is just the top but for Linux. Um, this is high quality, and then you've got faster rendering for computers that don't have as high graphic cards as any other high graphic card. If you, if you know your computer doesn't have a high graphic card, you can still go for multi texture, it should work fine. Um, this is the, I'm, I haven't tried this one, but I'm pretty sure this is the project file of Blender. So you, I'm pretty sure when you download this, if it downloads, I think, no. Yeah, you download it, and I'm not going to download it now, but you could see the, the project itself and what the person working on it has done so far. So that, that's pretty much it. you got to pick the one you want. If you pick one of these and one of them doesn't work, then um, I recommend trying another version. For example, um, if, if you have a Windows and you go for the high texture and it doesn't work properly, then go try the low texture. If both don't work... Um, I wouldn't recommend trying the Mac or the Linux versions if you don't have a Linux or a Mac, then just try to find another computer in your household. If you have another access to another one, try one of those. If you don't, unfortunately, I don't really know what to do for you. Um, maybe you just wait for the next update, whenever that may be, and hopefully it will work on your computer. Yep, that's pretty much it. So I just want to talk about the game a bit more. It's, um, as I stated in my previous videos about the emulator, this isn't a uh, massive project this person is doing out of his own free time it's free to download and it's a mini project it won't be completed if it even will be completed for a very long time um and this is in no means an actual game if you didn't enjoy the original clonal's adventures then i probably wouldn't recommend downloading this this is just for people like me who used to play it enjoy it and this is pretty much just for nostalgia this isn't a game there is no objective there's nothing to do it's running around shooting things looking at the things that you used to see if you had the original game I enjoyed this myself, I don't know, a lot of people, a lot of other people used to play the game will and have, but if you don't like the game when it first came out, then you're probably not going to like this version, so I don't recommend trying it out, or even why you're still watching this video. Um, if you don't like Star Wars or don't know anything about the Clone Wars, then again, why are you watching this video? But anyway, it is free to download if you want to try it, you can go right ahead. If you scroll down, there's a couple of the older updates, that's the May the 4th update. Um, some previous ones that were released during the year. I'm pretty sure the really, really old ones were taken care of. They got rid of them a while ago. Um, so as of May 28th this year, there hasn't been a update, unfortunately. But as I stated earlier, um, I think the guy's name is uh, right here, Joshua Panola. I'm sorry if I misspoke, mispronounce your name. Um, he hasn't had access to a computer in a really long time. And he hasn't been able to do anything. So I don't know, just wait for it, give it time. And if you want to try it out you can just come here download the version you need uh try it out for yourself if you enjoy it well then go for it if you don't enjoy it well too bad i guess <laughs> not really much i could do for you um 
Well, that's pretty much it. I am JP from Excusa Gaming, and I guess I will be seeing you guys in the next video. Out.